Here we go. We have an Arduino, which is using the I2C bus to power, well, communicate with this TEA5767 module. And I have some tuning and some volume, and I have an LM386 op amp here, and that is driving the speaker. There you go. We're listening to the radio. So this is just prototyping. I just wanted to make sure everything worked. So I pretty much just stole the code. But anyway, uh, here's my terminal window. So it's actually using uh, uh, the terminal to communicate what channel it's on. One thing that I dislike about this is uh, how touchy it is. And in the code, there's also another issue where you're tuning to point one of the frequency and uh, that'd be great but you can see here it's sitting at 90.4 megahertz but the problem is that FM actually has 200 kilohertz of bandwidth between the channels so there actually is no 0.4 that's why uh, FM 96 is actually 95.9 because the next channel up would be 96.1 but hey okay whatever um, so I'll fix that. That's a software thing. So again, just wanted to make sure this would work. The uh, schematic I used for the LM386, it's a little half watt amplifier. And here is the website for Hackaday. And uh, he's got one on there. I will link it on my blog so you can take a look at it. Uh, he's got a pretty good blog going and he does videos on YouTube as well. And uh, the chap that I used to get information on the TEA5767, uh, I will post his as well, electro electronicsblog.net. And uh, there's a picture of the FM module on his website. And he has pinouts and actually did a really good job because he posted his code and he put sections of the data sheet up. One of the interesting things I actually noticed was uh, the third byte, everybody sets as 0xbo on the internet. Uh, if you want mono, there is a section here. You should be toggling one of the bits to force mono, which I did, and it improved it greatly, considering that uh, I'm only going to use mono. But uh, a lot of the people that are posting code on how to do this, it's all identical. And some of them have weird code in them, so I think the people didn't really know what they were doing. Uh, who cares? But it works, so I'm going to give everybody their credit. And uh, this will be the module that is going to run the radio in my clock radio. So the plan is just to have two knobs and one button on the front. And one knob will be volume. And I actually have a I have a potentiometer that actually has the click for going on and off. So I'll be able to actually turn the power off and on on the amplifier. And the tuning knob. So I'm going to work on the tuning though. I've got to get it. Uh, it has to get working a little bit better because it's too hard to tune. But when it's all said and done, hopefully this information, uh, the frequency will show up on the tubes on the clock when I'm done. Uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, actually I will talk about this for a moment. When this chip arrived, it was only this little guy here. I tried soldering the wires onto the side. I tried soldering the wires onto the side here, and I... Uh, you probably won't be able to see it anyway. I tried soldering onto the sides and I accidentally knocked one of the components off and I wrecked it. So, pretty tricky solder job there. Somebody on the internet actually did something pretty much identical to this so I kinda stole it. I just took a chunk of proto board and uh, I'll put a picture up of this on my blog too. That's a little bit easier to see. But I just hop some wires on and then I put some headers on the back and uh, that's why it's so hodgepodge on the board here is uh, I originally had this in but it doesn't work uh, pooched maybe I'll be able to fix it not a big deal so order two of these if you order one anyway just so that you have one to wreck and one to work with and you can see I didn't even have to solder all the pins on here there's two for the I squared C bus there's two grounds VCC and uh, I'm just using mono audio, so I only had to hook up one of the audio pins. So, there you have it. Good little project. Uh, hopefully it'll do more later. But, it's good enough. I'll have to get this working on a microchip controller too. 
we'll get there. So, yeah. So hopefully uh, you can build your own. So I'll post that information up there. You can look at the other blogs. Huh? Here's the antenna. And uh, hopefully one day we'll get it working on my microchip tube clock. All right. Cheers.